All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with Bellatro. Today we're doing another challenge run. Today we're going to see if we can beat Bellatro only ever using two jokers at a time. This one might be the uh, the toughest challenge we've done thus far. We're just going to use the uh, starter deck here and see how far we can get. Uh, so this is going to be a really difficult run, I feel. Um, a plus 50 uh, chip joker would be a nice start, actually, but I don't know if we'd be able to afford it if we skip it. Let's give it a try, huh? Okay, we're definitely going to want to do this in as few hands as we can. What do we have here? Go for the flush. Or we've got a pretty close to a straight there, but uh, I think we're going to go for the flush. Ooh, or a full house. That works too. Alright, is two pair enough here? What do we need? 90 points? Not really. Um, let's see, an extra 20, 30 times 2. It might actually just be enough. Nice. Alright, we've got a 10. What did we... Oh. Gives a copy of the next selected tag. Double, ca double, double tag. We can take it, I guess, for the chips. Definitely going to have to sell it at some point. It's uh, an interesting start. Well, clubs are debuffed here. Okay, so we got plus 50 chips we, from this card. It doesn't really do anything else for us right now. Clubs are debuffed. What do we go for here? Another flush? I guess we're starting starting with flushes in this one. Hmm. Didn't really get anything useful there. Do we just keep going for the flush or do we concentrate on these high cards now? Change the game plan. Oh, we got a straight. One of the cards is debuffed, but we've got plus 50 chips. Let's see what this is worth for us. Not enough for a one shot there, but that's all right. Um, an entire debuffed flush right there. Let's get rid of it. Um, is it enough if we add 50 times two? Yes, it is. Alright, got nine dollars hearts. Re-trigger first played card. Hmm, not really that great. So I think long term if we have any want any chance of actually succeeding here, we're gonna have to manipulate our deck and try and get, I think, maybe five of a kinds or flush fives if we're lucky, but do we take a heart malt for now? I guess we'll take a heart and open tarot. Yeah, we'll open a tarot. Wheel of Fortune. Doubles money. Double zero zero, unfortunately. Could convert some to diamonds. I guess we'll just take Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Didn't land for us, but that's all right. Okay, we'll give you $10. Okay, we've got a negative joker coming up here, which is... Unfortunately useless for us in this particular run here, but got a nice straight off the bat. Only one heart. Plus 50 chips and it's enough. Nice. Alright, so... Ooh, another plus 50 first face card gives two times. Hmm. Oh! We got the stencil, but we can't afford it unless we sell. It makes sense to take that, doesn't it? Can we have a look at what's coming up next? We could hold on to the double tag until we got enough... Uh, or until we come across like a money one or something like that. Oh man, we'd love to, I think, maybe buy both of these, but... I guess we'll get rid of this one for now. Interesting, it's a times four. So if we actually got 
a negative joker now it would actually do something for us but we can't afford it anyway all right pretty close to another straight here just need a 10 and we got it oh we've got an ace as well so we'll go the high one there So I think this stencil might be a pretty good card here, at least early, uh, early game. Hmm. Idle is interesting, but not really great for what we're doing at the moment. I could take this one to make straights easier. It would make getting uh, straight flushes a bit, a bit easier, but. Hmm. It's a tough call, this one. I think we leave it and save the money, maybe? Let's go to the next round. Spade cards to debuff. Okay. Well, you've given me a nice straight here, but half of it's debuffed. Hmm. Almost enough to one, one shot him anyway, so... Just do another straight. Okay, so we've got an okay start here. Malt card, destroying two, they're both very good for us. And plus one hand is obviously great too. We can wait until next next um, shop to buy that one. Enhance is one to a steel card. I think we want to buy both of these and just try and manipulate our deck. And we'll grab one of these. Alright, the money would have been nice, but... Okay, destroying two. And adding a steel card. Destroy some twos. Or a two and a three. Make a steel two or a steel ace. Let's make a steel ace. Might be able to duplicate that one. Doubling our money here might be the play, I think. It's only an extra five dollars, but three of a kind by three levels. No, thank you. Hmm. Need a jack. And a 10 there, so that's not the best. Let's discard. We've got three tens. Oh, we've got a full house. Let's play that. Okay. Two nines and two kings. I feel like this will do the job. We're going to want to take some uh, planet cards here soon too as well, but... 17... Do we crack it open and see what we get? High card, three of a kind. Do we do the flush? I guess we'll do the flush here. Flushes are relatively easy to get. I mean, you can get uh, screwed over trying to go for it every now and then, but... Alright. Gives a free spectral pack. Spectrals are good. Do we think we can take 5,000... Let's take a Spectral. Purple Seal. Sets money to zero. Hmm. We'd have to sell this one first though. And there's no guarantee we get anything good. Let's go for it. Oh! <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. Cards from face down after each hand played. What do we want to go for here? Do we go for a full house? Unfortunately didn't get it. Ooh. I guess I could hold the aces and do... No, we'll go for the full house. Let's see what this is worth with the... Uh, one shot. So we've got a good start here. Things are going to start ramping up and getting difficult though. It's the same malt as what this gives us. And we've got another spectral back down here. Do we take it? Gold, purple seal. 
Hmm, that one's interesting. All hearts. Oh, we can take two from this pack, can we? Oh, well, then we take... Uh... Do we do this one and try and start duplicating it? That might be a good uh, a good call. It gives us twenty dollars, and we got the double tag, don't we? We could take forty dollars here. We should be able to get nine thousand. I think we take the money. Yeah. Uh, all right. We want to go for flushes. Do we want to go for hearts? How many hearts do we have now? Seventeen. So we'll get rid of the low cards. We'll go for the flush here. We'll leave the uh, steel in hand and see uh, see what it does for us. Nice. Right, so this combo is good for the early game. We're going to have to start leveling things up to... Uh, to take us through to the end game though. Um, leveling up our hands and duplicating some aces or face cards if we can. We don't really want that one. My, a money card would be nice, but I think we're just gonna go in on the flushes here. Seemed like a pretty pretty safe bet. Do we wanna open this and see if it gives us an ace? A lucky four. I think we pass. Alright, let's go next round. The psychic must play five. I play five cards per turn, so this one's pretty straightforward. Look at that, we got a flush. Nice. If we're able to keep leveling up this flush, we might have a chance here. Um, take the Arcana first. Got a death. We didn't get anything good to duplicate, unfortunately. Could convert more to hearts though. Why not? If we get uh, the boss blind that all hearts are debuffed, that could be difficult for us. Two pair, four of a kind. Might be a scenario where we have to play two pair. And what's this? That's the boss blind re rolling. What's the next one? All face cards are drawn face down. Might be worth buying the boss rerolls there. Uh, do we want to go for a straight or just keep going for flushes now because they're worth more? 65 times 8. Do you have to do a bit of discarding to get there though? Create two planet cards. Let's use this one. I guess we'll just um, level up what we can. There might be some scenarios where we need to use different hands. Um, I feel like that one might be worth buying. I guess we'll wait till next round. Oh, there's another Jupiter. Straight, two pair, regular pair. All right, next round we'll buy that. If we're just getting pretty close to uh, flush off the bat there. Nice. Oh man, this is uh, this is going way better than I thought it would. <laughs> I think we got pretty lucky with our jokers up there though. Um, plus two multiple re-roll in the shop. That's interesting. Not gonna buy it though. Tarot cards, two tarot cards. I think we'll buy this as well, though. You never know. If we come across the heart one, we might want to re-roll it. Create a joker card, doubles money, two pairs, enhance cards. Create up to two planet cards. What do we want to do here? Do we want money? Let's take the money for now. 
And then, do we want more money or do we want malt cards? Let's add some malt cards. I think that's going to be quite useful. Uh, do we do a re-roll here or do we just save our money? Yeah, we'll just save the money. I don't think it's worth. Um... We only got four hearts here, so we'll do this. Ooh, hello. One, two, three, four, five. We only got uh, enough for a flush. Do we do we discard this intentionally to Of course we do. Nine dollars. We'll take nine extra dollars. Right now we can just casually play a flush, level four. Look at that. Twenty-seven thousand. This is cruise mode, if we're only going to use these two jokers the whole run. <laughs> uh, tarot cards appear. Yes, I think we want that. Do we open up some standard packs here? See what we get. A malt. Queen of hearts. That's quite useful to us. Um, steel. Steel cards are good. Gold, gold heart. Do a reroll here. We'll buy the full. I don't think we'll use it right away. Yeah, I think we, I think we just have to sort of stay with what we've got here at the moment. Negative Joker. In any normal run, I'd want to take that, but this one we cannot. All right, just going for flushes is our play here at the moment. Until we can manipulate our deck enough to... Oh man, we're just not having any luck. This can happen sometimes when you're fishing for a single hand type. Let's put the malt in there and see how high it can get. Still enough for a one-shot, so we're doing just fine here. Two dollars for each chip you have. Buy the Arcana. Mm. I guess we'll turn a four into a queen. And now our fool can... Um, oh, it was two from this pack, wasn't it? Uh, do we wheel a fortune? Let's Wheel of Fortune. Oh, yeah, we got something. Extra 50 chips. Hey. Um, do we want a normal... A normal heart? I guess we'll take it. How many hearts do we have now total? 26. Should be pretty straightforward. If held in hand at the end of round. So we can try and work around this five a little bit to get some extra money and the fool is doing a wheel of fortune for us now which would be interesting if we were able to hit the uh, blueprint with something as well um, but we'll just play the flush for now all right not a one shot that time we've got three threes here what do you think three threes is going to do for us enough to take us home there nice Creates a random joker. I guess we'll take the full house there. Maybe we should have done three of a kind just in case we uh, need to make another play like that at some point. Hmm. Gold seal. Stone card is interesting, but not what really what we need right now. How many queens do we have in our deck? We have six. We would have liked to have started duplicated some some of these aces, but we just haven't uh, haven't really got the luck to do that just yet. I guess we'll pass and just keep going on our uh, played straight sets money to zero. That's fine by me. All right, let's discard those. What do we get? Hangman, destroying two. What are we going to destroy this team? Nice. Oh, 
Oh, not enough. Oh, look at this. Straight flush. What does that give us at the moment? Not quite as much as the regular flush now, I think. Or similar. Two tarots. A lot of jokers out. I don't know if I'm going to find much better than what I have for this current setup. Discards are nice though. Guess I'll take that. Do we want to open the buffoon packs? Probably not. I think it's a waste at this point. Straight flush or regular flush? 80 times 10 or 100 times 8? Pretty similar actually. I think the regular flush got us slightly more points last time. Mm. Open the Arcana. More fool. Fool the fool. You can't fool the fool. You can, however. Hangman. And then... And then do that later. We'll open this one. Uh, we've got a 10. We could add a 10. I don't know if that's really that useful to us. Alright, 52,000 tarots and destroying. We'll destroy some clubs. And we'll create two tarots. Create a random joke arm, we don't have space. Let's discard those. Keep the steel card in our hand. Converting diamonds. Get rid of that one. I guess we'll just get rid of them because we don't really need them right now. I think our setup here is pretty good. Add all the uh, malts in there. Nice. Oh, look at that. We're set to win this. It's going to be one of the easiest runs we've ever done. <laughs> Alright, let's open them anyway. See what we get. Ooh, a heart. A foil heart. We take the foil heart. Don't think we want this other stuff. I guess we could take a uh, another purple. Just to discard. Yeah, sure. Why not? Open this one as well. Ooh, a foil queen. We're getting pretty lucky with some of these. No, we don't want anything there. First hand is drawn face down. Actually, not really too bad once uh, because we have five discards. One of those was the ace, it looks like. Hmm. How do we get justice? A glass card. Hmm. Do we want to make a glass card? Maybe we do... Okay, we're going to need at least two here. Nice. More malt. We don't say no to that. More money, steel card, more tarot. Do we take another steel card here? Hmm. Let's make some of these multis, I think. Make a five of steel. And then justice is another glass. Can we get a uh, Jupiter here? We can. Planet cards appear more often. Do we want planet cards as well? We want them more than jokers, don't we? Lucky card. Let's make one lucky. Alright, what's our last one? One random joker disabled every hand. Hmm. 
it's gonna half our uh, malts here which is gonna be pretty difficult do we re-roll it we could get something worse forces one card to always be selected all right we'll deal with it oh what do we have up here what do we make lucky lucky 10 let's make a lucky 10 spend any more money now until the next round before the uh, the shop before the boss we've gotten pretty lucky I'd say this round I mean we're gonna have to create some more difficult challenges in this game maybe one Joker a single Joker huh? <laughs> cards I don't think we need to do those and nothing really great here I guess we'll take a four of a kind all right here we go forcing one card to always be selected we've got an ace do we just play it or do we Nice. Alright, well, I guess we'll discard. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. Pretty straightforward run at the end of the day. All you need is two malt cards. That's all you need. We're going to call it there on this one, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, it is possible to beat Palatro with only two Jokers. And in fact, it's pretty easy if you get uh, two Malt cards. Uh, we might um, try a more difficult challenge after this one. I thought this would be a more difficult challenge, but hey, here we are. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I hope you have a fantastic day.